we're going to draw the Lewis structure for CHClO. I just want to point out that carbon, oxygen, chlorine, and hydrogen are all non-metals. So these things will be sharing electrons to complete each other's octets, etc. Step one, let's count the number of valence electrons that each of these has. Carbon in group 14 brings four valence electrons with it. Hydrogen in group one brings one valence electron with it. Chlorine in group 17 brings seven valence electrons. And oxygen in group 16 brings six valence electrons. Add those together, we need 18 electrons total. Now of these four elements, carbon generally makes the most bonds. Carbon likes having four bonds to it. Oxygen likes two, chlorine and hydrogen one. We like putting the atom that can generally make the most bonds in the center of the structure. So I'm gonna put carbon in the center and I'm gonna surround it with the other atoms. Now, I haven't actually put any electrons here yet, but it's coming. Step two, I like connecting my central atom to all of my outer atoms. Each of those is a single bond and each single bond is worth two electrons. So I've put down two, four, six electrons total. Then I like filling the octets on the outer atoms. So again, I have two, four, six electrons and I need 18 total. So let's go 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Okay, I'm out of electrons. That's all of them. I can only use 18 because there's only 18 valence electrons among these atoms total. Now I just have to make sure that my octets are all complete. This chlorine has two, four, six, eight electrons around it. Good. This oxygen has two, four, six, eight electrons around it. Good. Hydrogen doesn't have an octet rule. It only likes having two electrons around it. So I think that's called the doublet rule, but whatever. This hydrogen's happy. This carbon has two, four, six electrons around it. Oh, it wants eight. That's what the octet rule is all about. So we have to decide if we're gonna bring a lone pair from the chlorine in to make a double bond or the oxygen. Now, I've already told you oxygen likes making two bonds. Surely you know that because H2O, the formula for water, has oxygen bonded to two hydrogens. I'm gonna move a lone pair from that oxygen to become a bonding pair between it and carbon. And now carbon has a full octet, two, four, six, eight electrons as well. My final structure here is carbon double bonded to oxygen, which has two lone pairs, single bonded to an H and single bonded to a Cl. And the Cl has three lone pairs around it. That's the Lewis structure. We did it. Congratulations. Best of luck.